afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Craven Cottage for our press conference to introduce the new Fulham manager, Felix Magat. Um, following the photographers taking a few shots here, Felix will make a brief address to you all, and then we will start the conference with questions from the floor, starting with involvement from Sky Sports News. So, guys, if you'd like to take some more shots for a second. Stand here, thank you. Thank you, Felix. Thank you. So there, there we go. There we go. There we go. Afterwards, there will be a special opportunity out in the portals and then again outside on the pitch if necessary. Okay, guys, is everyone done? Thanks, Sarah. A few more seconds. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Mr. McGatt, over to you. Yes, of course. <laughs> so thank you, Sarah. Firstly, I want to thank Mr. Khan and Mr. Alistair McIntosh for giving me the confidence and the support and the opportunity to manage such a famous and uh, traditional club like Fulham. I've been very glad to do that and I'd be very glad to be here in England where football comes from and I look forward to have the same success in England as I had in Germany. So you see now we are in a serious situation, sure you know uh, the next few months will be will we have a lot of work to avoid relegation but the first days here I have worked with the team was very good and I'm uh, sure that we will avoid relegation with this team because the players are uh, willing yeah, to do, to avoid relegation and we have a good atmosphere in the club and in the team and we stay together and we all work together and I think when we do that so and the fans give us the support in the last few weeks we are able to avoid relegation and that's now the most important thing. Yeah, I look forward to work here in England more than one and a half year. Uh, but now we have to concentrate of the next 12 games and especially for the game on Saturday against West Brom. Thank you, Felix. And now let's hand over to Ian Bolton from Sky Sports News. Felix, hello there. Congratulations on your appointment. Thank you. Why do you think Fulham are in the position that they're in? At Saturday or? No, at the bottom of the table. Why do you think they are struggling? I don't know. You see, I don't care about uh, the past. Yeah, I have not uh, influence in the past. I'm here since last Friday and I look forward. Yeah. I only uh, make a, a Bestandsaufnahme. Uh, how well we are at the moment. I only have a look where we are at the moment and then I think about what we can improve to develop the team, to develop our uh, play, our, our game. Yeah. You were quoted in Germany as saying your predecessor let Fulham play very attacking football. But you're falling up. And then rearranged the defence, destabilising the team. Is that how you see it? Do you see, every coach or every manager has his own view on the game. So I didn't care about other managers. I have my opinion and have my way of playing football and uh, 
then you have to go back in the past. Yeah? If you have seen what I have done in Wolfsburg and how we play at Wolfsburg, that is the way I want to see my team and my club. And you see, but now we have a special situation. It's not now the time to dream. Now we have to work, we have to stand together and fight against relocation. That's all in the next few weeks. We know that you won the Bundesliga twice with Bayern Munich. We know you won it with Wolfsburg as well. How much do you draw on the experience of the other clubs that you worked at? Like Nuremberg, like Werder Bremen, you see, um, you see, I worked as a manager not only in the Champions League. I started in the fourth league. I has I had worked with uh, the academy in Hamburg. Then I have managed a club in Nuremberg, the second league, and then I have. Uh, worked with some clubs which were on the bottom, yeah, Stuttgart, Frankfurt, Werder Bremen, yeah, and I never uh, uh, relegate. Yeah, I have always success with them, and we develop and we make better and better. But you see, uh, uh, with now it's only the time not to develop something, it's only the time to make points. Yeah? We are behind the others, so it is uh, not enough for us to make a draw. We have to win. Yeah? That's the only way you come up. Some of your former players have criticized your training methods. What, what, what do you say about the way that you coach your team? And perhaps how much of a disciplinarian? How disciplined are Is he? Ask Raoul. Do you know Raoul? Ask Raoul about my work, but not ask a, a player you didn't know here in England. Yeah? Ask the good players, and then you will, so you will get the right answer. Are you a tough guy? No, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very nice. What are the qualities? You have 12, 12 Premier League matches. What are the qualities that you need to see from the Fulham players if Fulham are to stay up? Yeah, you see, you see we have to develop as a team. We have to work all together. That's the only way you can now uh, uh, win games. Yeah? If you have a team which has no uh, success, which, ha which has no victories. They are a little bit uh, uncertain. Yeah, they uh, have not enough enough confidence to play forward. Yeah, so you have we need to stay together, to work together, and then you have to fight together. That's the only way you can go up. What did you make of the, the new players that Fulham? in January. Do I have to know which one came in January and which not? Some I know, some I don't know. You see, uh, I didn't care about the future. Yeah, I have my team, I have my players, and then I started to work and look forward, not back. Yeah, I don't care. Is a player here, not at the moment, I don't care, is a player here 20 years or 20 months or two months? Yeah, it, yeah, uh, it, it doesn't play a role. Yeah. I only have to see what, have, what could the player, what, how uh, he plays, what he is willing to do, and then I have to put Elf people together, elf players, yeah, to work as good as they can together. You have a lot of experience in Germany in, in the Bundesliga, um, but no experience in the Premier League. Is that a disadvantage? You see, sure, it is a little bit better if you know all the players in the league. Yeah? 
I'm uh, not now. I, I have, uh, in the last year, I have seen many games from England in uh, at home. Yeah, we have also yeah, you know Sky, and yeah, there are sometimes uh, English uh, uh, games. So I see a lot of games, and you know I have played. Uh, 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 personally against English clubs and the national team and as a manager you I have always met uh, English teams Arsenal or Chelsea or Manchester so I think I don't know so much about the players as you but I think I know enough from England and the Premier League and the football what was the you brought in your own staff and the most do. But what was the thinking in not retaining Rennie Mullenstein and Ray Wilkins and Alan Kirby? You see, uh, uh, was heißt, uh, uh, ich wurde ein paar Mal entlassen. I was sacked a few times. I was sacked a few times also. Yeah. You see, I know the situation and I'm sorry for each coach. Yeah, uh, But you see, we have here now a situation, I think uh, the management uh, wait uh, uh, a long time. Yeah, Now we have four points left. So. I think if you want to change something, you have to do it now. It was the latest, yeah, to change the team, to change the atmosphere, yeah, to have a chance to stay in the league. I think it doesn't look like, yeah, uh, uh, it works good enough. So I don't care about uh, uh, the reason uh, for my from the manager before, yeah, I don't know what he have done. I doesn't care. Yeah, I take over my duty and look forward and make the best I can. Thank you, Ian Wally. Wally down to the back. Um, can you tell us? You know, obviously, some of the players here that you would have worked with before, Sacharita and Ashkan. Do they have what it takes to, to keep a team out of the relegation? As well, I know, I know not only the three German players. You see, as uh, I worked as a manager before uh, uh, several years, so you know, I was interested in uh, Clint Dempsey. I know him. Yeah, I uh, uh, know Mitroglu. Yeah, he's uh, growing up in Germany. So yeah, I know more than only the German players, but. Sure, I, they are the players. They were they were used to me. They uh, knows how I work, and so I hope they could help me in the team. Yeah, to you see, my English is not the best, but uh, uh, they help me in the team. Yeah, to make me understand to each player. Yeah. You mentioned Costas Mitroglou. How is he? Is he fit for this weekend's game? Because fans are worried they've paid a lot of money for him and he hasn't been able to play yet. He was injured, and so you see, I think uh, uh, what is fit, yeah, uh, everybody has another uh, few who is fit, but uh, so he was injured, so he is maybe not in the best shape, but he is a very, very uh, extraordinary scorer and I'm sure he will help us. Do you think he'll be ready for, for Saturday for West Brom? Oh, I don't, I don't know uh, yet. No, I don't know now. Uh, I have Tomorrow we have another training session and I decided after the last session yeah, which team will go to our away game and after then uh, at Saturday I will think about the best 11. Your side is, this, this side is, is conceding over two goals a game on average. How are you going to be able to change that bearing in mind if you don't have a transfer window to work in? You know, the problem uh, you, everybody knows, yeah. 
58, I think, uh, goals are a lot, and we have surely to uh, avoid uh, uh, goals. So, yeah, we will, how I said before, we will have a chance if every player helps each other. And if we do so, so we want uh, white goals against us. And I think we are on the right way and I'm convinced that yeah, we have a chance at Saturday yeah, to go out of the game with zero goals against us. Hi Felix, uh, is this your biggest challenge as a manager? Oh, you see, every manager tells you every time that was the biggest challenge now. Yeah. I don't know. You see, I'm very glad to be here. Yeah, I'm proud to be here. And I'm a little bit afraid uh, to stay in the Premier League. Yeah. You see, I'm convinced I know what we will do, and I'm convinced we can avoid relegation. But you see, you never know. Ask. Mr. Pellegrini, also, you, you never know what happened in a game. Yeah, uh, you cannot uh, by influence. influence. You you have no influence in some things. So uh, I'm sure we are in, we are on the right way, and we will be able to avoid. But sometimes it depends on things. You yeah, we have no influence. So uh, I don't know. I, I read that you described. The match against West Brom is the biggest game in the club's history. Do you stand by that? Because presum presumably the next 12 games are all going to be the biggest game in the club's history. Yeah, sure. Uh, this is my opinion. Because you see, uh, at uh, a team as Fulham, which have not won for weeks, they need especially a victory. Uh, you can work as good as you can. If you don't win, the players will not believe that they can win. So it's the most important thing are three points in hopefully the next game. Do you think the players believe that they can do this? Yeah, they believe it. Yeah. You say you're confident of avoiding relegation. Yeah. How many points do you feel you'll need to avoid relegation? I think that we need six victories in the last 12. Six out of the 12? Yeah. 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 You also said you're a nice guy. Yeah. How did the players react to you bringing them into training on Sunday when I think it was their day off? Yeah, you see, the players are yeah, willing to do that. No, sure, they are uh, surprised because yeah, uh, they have uh, uh, the order to come on Monday and then they get a telephone call, please come back. So, sure, they were surprised, but they're doing fine at Sunday as well as Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And how much do you know of West Brom and Chalbion? You probably don't know too much about Fulham at the moment. How much do you know about West Brom? I've seen uh, the game uh, West Brom against Chelsea, 90 minutes. And so I have uh, impression from West Brom. And you see, we have uh, a lot of uh, scouts, we have uh, a lot of uh, coaches. Sure, I talk with them. Uh, they give me information about West Brom, and I feel very comfortable with uh, the situation. I think I know what to do. Okay, thank you. This, it's peppermint tea now. Yeah. So first uh, here, I can tell you if I come here, I feel like coming home. Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, uh, tremendous atmosphere. Yeah, you, you smell the history here. Yes, you smell football. Uh, I'm 
Yeah. I'm very, very glad to be here. Yeah, I like it very much. And as I told you, I'm now uh, I want to stay here for years. So yeah, I, I feel very, very good, and yeah, I like it so much. And uh, uh, not only. Uh, 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 Fulham, no, but you know, I was sometimes here in London, and my family and me we like it very much, and we are glad to be here, and yeah, we are very very satisfied. Okay, Jim, last broadcast question for you. You mentioned players like Ozil and um, some of the other players who have taken time to adapt to the English game. Yeah. You you do not have that time. You have no. No, you see. Short time, you have to make an impact now. Or right, right. Yeah, right. So uh, it's a special situation, and it's not me who uh, 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 den Spieler uh, wegschicken will, also den Spieler aussortieren will. Uh, to send away a player. It's, it's not me to send away a player, but you see, we have too much players here, so I have to. Uh, 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 cut down the, the numbers of players in the team because we have to concentrate. Yeah, we have to uh, uh, get together. And if you have too much players, yeah, you have too much, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, influence. So uh, sorry for that, but that's the only way. Yeah, to concentrate, to focus on the next game, and. If a player is not long enough to hear, to uh, uh, to accept the English way of uh, playing football, so I can use him at, at the moment. Yeah. So next season, yeah, sure. But at the moment, you're right. I have only to focus on the next game. Thank you, um, guys. If you could switch the microphones, and we'll move on to written press now. Thank you very much indeed.